discuss about the types of forces there are two major types of forces they are contact force and non contact force which are the two types of forces contact force and non contact force the contact force further divided into two types they are muscular force and the force of friction or we can say frictional force the non contact force are again subdivided into three categories they are magnetic force electrostatic force and gravitational force now let us discuss about these these types of force one after the other see contact force what do you mean by contact force see the pictures see here a man is pulling a weight and here a boy is pushing a cycle here the force is exerted by the person by direct contact or by physical contact to another object therefore the force which is exerted by an object on another object by direct physical contact is known as the contact force are you clear what is contact force contact means touch here an object is directly touching or physically touching with other object so that the force is exerted by physical contact when the force is exerted by direct physical contact then such force is known as the contact force as i told you earlier the contact forces are of two types which are they yes good muscular force and force of friction see here see this boy and girl is pushing a cycle here two teams are performing tug of war here a man is pushing a car so when a man push a car when the boys push the bicycle or when somebody pull something they are using the muscles of the energy or the muscular energy when the muscular energy is exerted or when the energy of the muscles are exerted on another object by direct physical contact then such force is called the muscular force the force exerted by the muscles by physically touching the other object is known as the muscular force you know the muscular force of horse is used for pulling the horse cart bullock using its muscular force for pulling the bullock cart a man is using his muscular force for pulling a bucket of water from the well all these are examples for muscular force now what is force of friction or frictional force see children consider a ball is moving towards the other side okay ball is moving towards the right side you know that when we kick a ball when we allow a ball to move it gradually slows down and finally it will come to rest why this ball is coming to rest see when the ball is moving towards this direction there is another force which is acting opposite to the moving force the force which is acting against the moving force or the force which is acting against the moving object is known as the force of friction or we can say that frictional force or simply we can say that friction
See, you might have experienced when you are riding the bicycle very fastly, the force of friction is exerted on your body by the moving wind. Or when we are swimming against the water current, that water current is actually exerting against the swimming person. So, the force which is exerted against the moving force is known as the frictional force or the force of friction. That means the frictional force is the force which acts on an object which is in the opposite direction of the motion. The frictional force will be always in opposite direction of the movement of an object. Now let us discuss about non-contact force. You might have observed that a magnet is attracting the iron materials. Or you might have seen the object which are falling down from a height. See here, when the object is falling down, nobody is touching it. But there is a force which is pulling the object from height towards the ground without physical contact. So when a force is exerted on an object, when a force is exerted on an object without being contact, without being in touch is known as the non-contact force. Non-contact force can be further divided into magnetic force, electrostatic force and gravitational force. Okay? Non-contact force are of three types. Which are they? Come on. Okay, magnetic force, electrostatic force and gravitational force. Okay, good. See, all these three forces, I will tell you the examples you can see that the object is not being physically touched or contacted by the other. That's why these are comes under non-contact forces. Let us see the first one, magnetic force. See, magnetic force is the force which is exerted by the magnets on magnetic material. You know, the materials which are attracted by the magnets are called magnetic material. The materials which are made up of iron, cobalt or nickel are magnetic. You might have studied in your lower classes. So these magnetic materials will be attracted towards a magnet. So such a force which is exerted by a magnet towards the magnetic material are called magnetic forces or magnetic force. See, you know that a magnet having two poles such as north pole and south pole. What happens when north and south pole come near to each other? Yes, good. When they are coming near to each other, it will attract. So the attractive force will be exerted by the magnet not by touching before just when you keep nearby when you keep the magnets nearby it will be attracted so that force is magnetic force or you might have learned in your lower classes when we keep the north pole of a magnet near the north pole of another magnet the second magnet moves away the second, second magnet moves away if the same pole is come near to each other. So that is a magnetic force. We know that the same poles repel each other whereas the opposite poles attract each other. So this attracting or repulsive force by magnet is an example for magnetic force. Now let us see about electrostatic force. 
children you know that all the materials if you take a book if you take a comb or your pen all these materials are electrically neutral they are electrically neutral when you place a comb on your table it will never attract the paper pieces but when you rub the comb on your hair by rubbing it will acquire a charge how this material this neutral material is acquiring a charge when you rub an object the subatomic particles you know which are the subatomic particles electron proton and neutrons see the protons and neutrons the protons and neutrons are present at the center of the atom at the nucleus of the atom but the negatively charged electrons are revolving around the atom revolving around the nucleus of the atom the charge of an electron is negative and the charge of a proton is positive in an atom there will be equal number of electrons and protons the number of electrons or protons present in an atom is known as the atomic number if i say that the atomic number is 2 that means an atom consists of two electrons and two protons since the number of electrons that is the negative charges are equal to the number of positive charges the proton an atom is electrically neutral but when you rub a electrically neutral object what happens the outermost electron either jump to the other object or the object may gain an electron from the rubbing object when it loses an electron the object get positive charge because it has lost one negative charge if the rubbing object gain the electron from the other object then it will acquire a negative charge that means an object when rubbed on another object it is getting a charge and we call it as the body as charged body so such a charge is known as electrostatic charge or static charge we will say so the force which is exerted by such charged object on other charged object or neutral object is known as the electrostatic force are you clear when we rub an object it will acquire a charge it may be a positive charge or a negative charge such a charged object when attract another charged object or a neutral object then that force that force which attract or repel other charged body or a neutral body is known as the electrostatic force that's why when you rub the comb it will acquire a charge and when you showed that charged comb on the pieces of paper it will attract it because of electrostatic force okay so you hope you understood electrostatic force the next one is gravitational force you know that if you throw something on a height it will fall down the fruits which always falls down but it is not moving to the sky why because the earth exert a force on all objects the earth attract the object towards itself that force by which the objects are attracted towards the earth is known as the gravitational force or it is called the force of gravity okay you know it is the gravitational force between the sun and earth that whole earth 
in its orbit. You know all the planets are revolving around the sun in a particular orbit. All the planets are revolving around a particular orbit because of the gravitational force. It is a non-contact force. You know that without, without contact, the objects are falling down. The objects are falling towards the earth. We are attracted towards there. Otherwise, we will be moved towards the space. So the force which is exerted by the earth towards itself is known as the gravitational force or it is called the force of gravity. So these are the three non-contact forces which are the magnetic force, electrostatic force and gravitational force. Which are the two types of contact forces? Come on. Yes, muscular force and frictional force. Hope you understood these types of forces. Okay? Okay, good. All the best.